Althea Realty and Finance is a one-stop shop. We do it all from loan, real estate, property management, credit fix, and credit rescore, and so much more. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate, including homes, businesses, or commercial real estate, Johnson Hermos can guide you through the process. If you're looking for a loan, including purchase loan, refinance, FHA, VA, investment, DSCR, hard money, W-2 only, bank statement, stated income, reverse mortgage, and so many other loan programs, give Johnson Hormoz a call. With over 17 years of experience and several hundreds of successful transactions, he can guide you through the process. If you have no credit, bad credit, bankruptcy, foreclosure on your credit report, let Johnson Hormoz help you to get your loan. Let me coach you to success. Your success is my goal. DRE number 0176892. NMLS number 264726. بدران اسلام اب نیم تی مغیب خورزخی تبی عقودی شارخلا این من قم شارت خورز دودیان حکم دم بقارت ولو خونانیم زب بخلون خار تخت از آخرین خار خسای جلیت لام من دارم زمخ بقارت قد بقروتون و عیل قد ریت ویسکی ابسالی بقارا جواب داد بقارا علاقت از نشلی لب دا قد بیشکی یابسالی، آمدید قد ایله، آمدید قد عادی بعرونه. هل قد هل پرخت داشتی تمدر؟ هل بیشکی خد خد ز بیشکی؟ اینا من شارتشی بیتای ل نیخانی خا شاری بسلايا. ل تن آخر جواب زلد سالی نیخانی خب شاری سالی گرش خطر تلاش نه هل بای سالی عویو رنجت آر بار با پلی این ایمن هم وای سالی. ابوقارا خیت قد بقرات هم و ایبا ریت قد تمبل دو بیت بخای و تو من دو بیت قد اختون رنتی و تو نیا بیایتون زنی تون قد رنتی ای تون لی زیم قد دو بیت اختون بیایتون زنی تون لو خی تون گاو بوش اختون اتلو خون بوش اور خی عبنا قد زنی تون لی مزر تن آخر ریت و بوش التقیله بوش خدش دام پیمن کم سی تون متی تون کوالیفیکیشن و بوش حسنای لحال دو بیت قطع کنم بیاتون زنیتون رو رنت یابید. و بیت قطع کنم بیاتون زنیتون ل و رنت یابیتون ل بوش زود دامپیمنت گرم میتیتون ای باصورت سی پرسنت یا قطع کنم دامپیمنت میتیتون ریتو د بوش اولو توی من دو بیت خینه. پس آ من دید کانسیدر بودن ل آ اتین تاپا بود. رابا پیش دبو کرد تا OK و بیت از زن اخلم تخلق تن اخد بیای خیا خیا و آ خدا مزدیانه شوله لی چون این تناخن بانکه یاد دا کمس الان منو خون طالبال خیر خطره خدانه یه وله کل زویزه مادری تونلون لیل را با هنه نشوله خطس مزدیانه لی پس ادانا اتخبایی تون اتخشوله نویدی تون گروی تون هشر چون مرن بوش سپایل لدی تون لعشوله چون این بانکه یاد دا تتیه عزویزه منو خون طالبال خب قرار خیت به بقرتون و قد قامو کریه یون قیوم بسیار کنه نویتون پکر گوشیت داور و شیت ریت کریه کدیم وینه بسیار که بقرار و قد قامو بسیار کنه خزیمون ادانت قد ریت بسیار کنه بوش باصور ناشی باشور نبت فات زنی خب اند ناشی گالولا کلی خی یو خب بته گر خی بس بگر ازی کری زنی کری دوکی دانا بشه نه قد کری دوکی خب این نش قد بیانه یه تکیری زنی بوش بزیاده نه اینا بتوانه هر یه بتوانه نه پس کمپتیشن وایل قدو بیته این مرافات بتوانه قد اتلون قد کری کری محسوب کنه دلیل و علاقه دان ت ریت یسکی یا بتوانه رابط دائمی نش بوش خدا کم سی بیته زنی پس بیتاینه ریت ریت کری مزیدونه ابوقارا خیت قد بقراتون و ای وقت اختون بیاتون به تکری دوکیتون که مگر اختون دپازت یابیتون. ازیمون عادیه اختون بشه نخه به تدوکیتون مرد به تکام از خال تریار خم نخون دپازت شکل و در به تقطع خون کریه ول. اهان ایل قیکل تناخن کالیفرنیل. اینا من شد بیتایل من جولای شد بیتایل خدا نتازه پاسفت قانون پاسفت لون 
قد مرا مرد بیت من خیر خبوش زوده لمس دپازت شکل یعنی من خیر خیر لمس خیر تنخ تریه خیر لایخ من آخو نهتا دپازت طالب خیر خیر ایلا این مکسیموم قد شامز اختون من آخو دپازت شکل ای بقارا خیت قد بقراتون و بسید این مثل تنهتون بیایتون الخا کردی کارت لیت اتلو خون یا الخا مرگج تنه اخن اختون لیت اتلو خون کما افکت اتلا زیمون پشت لا کردی تو خون کما او خیلانه قد افکتو کما بدو یعنی این کم سا بل تنه اخن اسرا پوینت هل اما اما خمشی پوینت کردی سکرو خون مسلی آلا و خیربای تو ایلا قد ادان تد لیت وعدتون تنه اخن اها لیت دیو خون شواشن پیاش لال کریدیت خون. پس هشیار بیمون همه شانکتانن زرستد کریدیت را با تاتون لال این مخرب تو را با حسن عیل. ابو قارخی نقد بقراتون و ای و قد بیایتون اینوستمن پراپرتی زونیتون بیایتون خب بیت زونیتون قد کریه بیتون ل. اینا زیز اتلو خون این را با این کامل اتلو خون. این کامو خون لیلا این آفی نه تنها زیز این آفی تلو خون قط مثلا خا دام پیمت متی تو نمی تو نه هنزونی کم سی تو نه به تزونی تو لیه جواب و ایله هی کم سی تو را با پروگرام پریش پریش اتین خم دم پروگرام قط آدیا را با دا پاپیلر بیت لا ایلا قط کری دو به تا بیتای نه مرا اهم به تا خخت کری و خخت لا پیمنت و خخت لا اند میده ال کمپر و دن نه بیست از دکری دو به تعداد اختون بیایی تون ل قدری اخون بیتاینه مرجی آمدن. آن ام بقار و قدری اختون شبت تو رامنی بقرتون و عادیت تازه خن آل پشانت خورزن خارخ اتلن من داو هم زمخ و قارم بد بقر خلون ات اتلهی و قدری اخون داوی آمدن تیانت. Welcome back, Ron. Thank you very much. You know. Uh, we had a good session last week, yes. and uh, as you know, you know, ten exchange overall, it's very wide, you know, program. It's not like you know uh, one thing. There's a lot right. of things you can do. Uh, you, uh, a lot of people they can get a lot of advantage of you know ten to one exchange, which is it's been designed for that. But you need to do it right. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about exchange, regular exchange last week. And this week, uh, I'd like you to explain what is it, uh, reverse exchange. Uh, it's obviously, it's not for e everyone. No. Nope. It's a little bit more, you know, uh, expensive, to put it this way. But, uh, yeah, so tell us about the exchange, reverse exchange. And so, you know, a lot of our, you know, viewer, uh, they like to know they have the money. Uh, and the reverse exchange, the key part is the money. You need to have the money. That's the key part, but let's start with why people do them. Um, so normally in a 1031, as we spoke to last week, you sell something and then you buy something. The money from this goes to the property uh, that you're purchasing. But a lot of people are very much afraid of that 45-day clock. And now I do say the 45-day clock does start at the close of escrow. So if you have a buyer who's willing to give you a long escrow, then hopefully we can, you can still do a regular exchange. But especially in a market like today, where while yet, yes, interest rates are high, but because of that, there's very low inventory. I'm sure you've talked about this on previous shows. There's very little uh, 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 for sale. And so because of that, a lot of people are still afraid of not being able to find a replacement property after they sell their property. Because those 45 days, as we talked about last week, hard clock, you cannot, cha you cannot get an extension on those. So because of that, um, the IRS does provide for something called a reverse exchange. And a reverse exchange is exactly what it sounds like. It means you're buying a property before you sell your property. Now, it doesn't matter when you go into contract. If you go into contract to buy something, but the seller is willing to wait until you sell your property, then it's still a regular exchange because you're, you're closing escrow on the one that you're selling first. But in a reverse exchange, you're actually closing escrow on the purchase before the sale. Now, the first thing to remember about a reverse exchange is if you do that, if you buy that property and then call me, I will hang up on you because you can't do it that way. Because if you buy that property, you now own both. 
and you cannot do an exchange into a property if you already own it. So what happens in a, rever a reverse exchange is we as the intermediary, we actually take title to one of the properties. Now, the, there are two ways of doing it. We can either take title to the property you're selling or we take title to the property you're buying. In most cases, we want to take title to the property you're buying. So what happens here is you come into escrow with the money to buy that property and we borrow that money from you and take title to that property and hold it until you sell your property. So the seller has sold the property, but you haven't bought it yet because we are on title to the property. Now, while we're on title, we uh, lease the property to you. So you're still collecting the rent, doing the maintenance, whatever needs to be done on the property. But you have 180 days, six months, just like a regular 1031, to then sell your property. Then once you sell your property, that's when we do the actual exchange. You've sold the property, and now you acquire the new one from us as the replacement. Now, as you mentioned, as you alluded to earlier, the biggest problem with reverse exchanges is the money. Because normally you take the money from what you're selling, and you use that money as the down payment on the new property, and then you get a loan or use your own cash to make up the difference. In the reverse exchange, you haven't sold your property yet, so you have to come up with the money to buy that property. And the hard part is this. If you are buying, if you're doing this with residential real estate, it's not easy to find a residential lender who will want to lend to you because they're lending the money to you, but we are on title to the property in an LLC that we create. So we, I don't know if you've ever spoke about conforming loans um, on, your, on your presentation, on your talks. Well, this is not a conforming loan because Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, those people, they don't want an LLC on title to the property. So your regular conventional lender will not play ball on this. Now, there are some lenders that will, if you will. Um, sometimes you have to do what's called bridge loan or hard money loan, um, which is a, um, a short-term loan you're getting. But most of my clients who do reverse exchanges either have the money themselves or they can get the money from maybe a, a HELOC against their primary residence or borrowing against their 401k for a while or something that allows them to access the funds to buy the property. So, but if they can come up with the money to buy the property, a reverse exchange in today's market is actually easier because you come into escrow to buy that property with the money. We have bought the property, you now own, you now, you now have six months to sell your property. And as you, I'm sure, have said, selling your property in six months in today's market, not a problem at all. The piece of cake. Exactly. So that's the, the, so it's actually a fairly easy transaction if you have access to the money to make that purchase. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> here's a question I've been asked before. Uh, when they do exchange, they, they, they put money and they, they buy another property. And after they're selling their property, can they get their money back? Oh yes, absolutely. So what happens is, so if they, so whatever money comes from the sale of the of their property, that money goes back to them. Now, if they didn't put enough, because remember, in an exchange, you have to use all the equity towards the next property. So let's say you sold a property, and again, we'll make it up numbers here. You sold a property, and you have a million dollars of equity in that property but you were able to buy the new property only putting down $500,000 of down payment and you got a loan for the rest. Then what we would do is give you back that $500,000, but use the other $500,000 that came from the sale to pay down the existing loan. So that way, by the time you get the property, the same million dollars you had of equity in the first property becomes um, the equity in the next property. But if you put up all the money yourself for buying that property, yes, once that, your property sells, you get that money back and you know, pay back your grandmother or however you got the money. Okay, but they cannot get more than money they put for the, buying the property. It will, it's going to be taxable. Well, they, in an exchange, you're normally buying something more expensive. So ultimately, all of the money that's coming from what's being sold is going to, is going to go into that next property. So you're correct. If you, if you end up with more money than you put in, then that's considered to be taxable 
because you, because you can't because any money that you touch is taxable in exchange. That's why all the money has to go into the 1031. Okay. Only whatever they put, they can get. Right. Plus the closing cost. Right. Okay. And one <coughs> question comes: uh, Why you know the reason a lot of people they don't do uh, reverse one? It's you know they need to have money, mm -hmm. and the other reason it's reverse cost more. Right. Um, whereas a regular 1031 for most people will cost between one and two thousand dollars, one to two thousand um, dollars. A reverse exchange minimum is going to cost seven thousand to seven to eight thousand dollars, and it's very easy to be you know ten thousand, twelve thousand. If it's commercial real estate, it could be even more than that. But I would say if you're looking to do a reverse exchange, you're going to budget seven to ten thousand dollars to do so. Now that seems like a lot of money compared to the one to two for a regular exchange. But in reality, if you're dealing with two, three, four million dollar properties, you know, an extra five thousand bucks really isn't that big of a deal, especially if it gives you the, 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 you know, the guarantee that you're able to get this done because you know you'll be able to sell your property in time. You know, um, so in today's market, yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but for a lot of people, that extra peace of mind of finding what they want first, it's worth the extra price. Okay. Uh, is the different, you know, between the cost is, is that comes from the transfer tax? No. So um, some of the, I mean, the extra cost comes from a lot. I mean, just paperwork wise alone, you know, we can do a regular 1031 exchange in a couple hours, um, but a reverse exchange can take up to two weeks to set up. There are leases involved. There's uh, there's an LLC to be set up. There's just much much more involved in a reverse exchange. Um, <clears throat> With regard to the um, with regard to the transfer tax, by, this is one of the reasons we like to have a new property be the one that we take title to, because what we do at the end, instead of having to go through an extra escrow and transfer tax, we just give you the LLC. So this way, you own the LLC at the end. So we can avoid having to go through the extra transfer tax. Now, if you want to keep it in the LLC, great. If you don't, then you go down to the county, get it out of the LLC, put it into your own name. But because you're the owner of the LLC, putting it into your name, you can avoid the extra transfer tax. Whereas if you have to go through an extra escrow to sell you the property, then we have the extra transfer tax and escrow fees. So one of the so the main reason we do it this way is to avoid having that, those extra fees. Okay, if I understand it correctly, for, uh, for the start, to, for the start. Uh, you own the LLC. And, we own the LLC, right. And at the end, you transfer that LLC the, to the buyer. To the exchanger, correct. To the exchanger uh, to avoid the transfer taxes. Correct. Okay. Uh, that's why they, you know, uh, they don't pay the transfer tax. And especially like in San Jose, it's really high. In some, yes. some cities, they don't have a, you know, transfer taxes, but San Jose, it's, re it's really costly. Well, and I, there are some cities, some cities is even worse. San Francisco, Alameda, Oakland. I mean, it's not, it is some, some transfer taxes are two to three times what it is even in San Jose. So it can get very expensive in some markets. But also, that's, I talked earlier about how we could also, in some cases, take title to the property being sold. When we do that, then we have to take. Then we have to do the extra transfer tax because the property is sold to us, and then we sell it to the next buyer. And so that's why that's why, especially in places like San Jose that have the extra transfer tax, we try to avoid doing that. So, um, the, but you know that is a solution for some people in some cir some circumstances. Okay, it's it's all about saving money, basically. Oh yeah. You know, because a lot of this money goes for like taxes, transfer, it's just, you know, it's just, they're losing the money basically. And one thing to remember uh, is that whereas in a regular 1031 exchange, it's fairly easy. You know, you're, again, you're selling something, you're buying something. In a reverse exchange, because of the extra cost, because of the problems sometimes getting a loan, because of the fact there are different ways of structuring them, um, I always say this is one where you always want to you know, sit down with someone like me or just 10 minutes on the phone, go over your situation, find out which is the best way to structure it and see if it's gonna work for you. It's gonna work for you. And many times it probably doesn't. I probably talked to 
you know, three or four people every day about reverse exchanges, and I probably only, only end up doing three or four every week. So it's it's not as common as a regular exchange by any means, um, but because there are because of the all the nuances to them, the extra expenses, etc., you know, it's best that everybody finds out about their own situation and whether it's something that uh, you know is going to work for you. Uh, you know, I I get this question a lot. You know, when do when we do exchange, we're not avoiding taxes; we just defer them. Correct. I, I tell my clients all the time, you know, we just keep deferring them. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, but how long they can like defer this? Okay. So uh, very important point. In a 1031, you are deferring taxes. So you sell a house to buy a duplex. Later, you sell a duplex in exchange for a fourplex. Now, if you're you're old and tired, you sell that fourplex. You pay taxes from the house the duplex and the fourplex. So you are just deferring taxes. So two reasons though, you always want to do an exchange. Number one, do you want to pay your taxes today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So the way I look at it is this, as long as you keep exchanging, all those tax dollars that you're not paying the government yet, you get to use that to buy more real estate. But the real reason is most of us will never have to pay the taxes because eventually, sadly, one day we're all gonna die and when you die, you win. Well, be honest. When you die, your children win. Because when you die, your heirs get what's called a step up in basis and all the taxes disappear. So make sure we understand this. I bought something many years ago for $100,000. Today it's worth a million. If I sell it, I have to pay tax on $900,000. But the day I die, whoever inherits the property from me, their basis is the value the day I die. And so if it's worth a million when I die, they get the property, they, they sell the property for a million dollars, no gain, no taxes to pay. All the taxes that I would have paid all disappear when I die. So that's the real beauty of the 1031. Now, mind you, this only works when you inherit the property. It does not work if you give the property to your kids or people before you die. But if you inherit the property, that step up in basis makes, makes it very worthwhile to do the exchange. Okay, basically it's it's 3D differ differ. It's called we call it swap till you drop. <laughs> it's a win-win situation, but you know it's basically lose. Exactly. <laughs> All right, sounds good. You know, I know as if we even talk for hours for exchange, you know, it's it's so it's so broad. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, and each situation it's unique. Um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll post your information, so if they have a question, they can directly yes. call you, so, you know, you can answer the question, because, as I said, it's very, you know, complex, it's not easy just buying and selling, it's not easy transaction. Right. Uh, we appreciated you, you know, you gave us your time to come to our show and talk to our viewer. Uh, I appreciate, let me, uh, you know, say something in our language to our Please. viewer. موقع من عویتون بسیم قد خورزه دو دوی انگوش قلو خون نویل خون خبو قارا کمسیتون تکس مخیتون لی ایمیل مخیتون لی یزیگ مخیتون لی به خدو تبو قارا خون جر بخون عویتون بسیم Bethia Realty and Finance is a one-stop shop. We do it all from loan, real estate, property management, credit fix, and credit rescore, and so much more. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate, including homes, businesses, or commercial real estate, Johnson Hermos can guide you through the process. If you're looking for a loan, including purchase loan, refinance, FHA, VA, investment, DSCR, hard money, W-2 only, bank statement, stated income, reverse mortgage, and so many other loan programs, give Johnson Hormoz a call. With over 17 years of experience and several hundreds of successful transactions, he can guide you through the process. If you have no credit, bad credit, bankruptcy, foreclosure on your credit report, let Johnson Hormoz help you to get your loan. Let me coach you to success. Your success is my goal. DRE number 0176892. NMLS number 264726.